Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how you can create this really cool design here. Super modern, nice hard and soft shapes. So let's dive in into plasticity. And just in case if you want to learn even more and much more depth, I have amazing plasticity courses best on the internet. Check out first link in the description box, everything step by step, complex modeling and all that kind of good stuff. So let's load this image here into pure ref so it stays always on top here let me make it smaller perfect link below this video also for that reference image and it's actually super simple so also here on the bottom left you see the key stro strokes so first of all let's dissect here the form so we have this yeah circular shapes here four times in 90 degrees and we have the circle here at the top and then we have here some really nice surface transitions so exactly let's start with the most simple things here so let's go here to the front view and just go here and create the center circle snap to the middle and snap here either to the x or to the yeah to the z axis here and I will just create like a size like that and now let's bring that image a bit down and here so now we have to uh, kind of extend and make it straight here at the bottom so let's create here a three point rectangle so just hover that click and drag three point rectangle snap at the three quarter here snap at the other three quarter here and just drag that down and something like that right click to confirm now we don't need the curves in the middle so just press t and just trim those guys here away right click again to confirm and now let's go to edge mode so press 2 and let's select both of those edges here and press j to join them so we have just one curve here and now so to find the right distance like how much outside we should bring it so before we do that let's first create the circle at the top and we see that the circle at the top is a little bit bigger than those shapes here on the side so let's keep that in mind let's go to the here top right at the top view and again create a center circle and again snap to the middle and this time again so it's just eyeballing right now so we just want it bigger than our shape below so i don't know make something like this right click and you see it's also snapped directly at the top so this is nice and now again press 2 select this curve press g for the move command and now let's bring it a little bit outside and again so here you see we need a little bit of a distance or something like that and obviously we have to bring it a little bit down so again this is like very eyeballing just when you work on your own spend a little bit more time and stuff so we have something like that that should be fine right click and now we just want to bring it four times around so for that the curve is selected and we just go here to radial array click and now we have some nice cool effects but we just want to snap here to the middle and at the bottom left uh, just select for copies kind of again right click to confirm and now what what we want to do because always in surface modeling we want yeah to work with faces right now this example with curves so we first want to create some faces out of our curves that we've built here so very simple you can just select all of those curves select from right to left and we just patch it so you can just press f and type in patch right click bring it shortcut i have it on shift 3 so just patch it and you see everything is nice and filled now right click and now let's hide all of the curves so just select two edge mode select all if you select those in the edge mode only the edges or the curves will be selected and this looks very nice and now because we have a symmetrical object we just want uh, we can just work on one quarter right 
and then we can just mirror that over so we don't have to do it four times so let's do that because we don't need 75 percent of all that and for that so there are five million techniques how we can do that but just press three for face mode and select this face and there's a nice command if you press f and if you search for isoparam so here isoparam control so i have it on control r because i use it uh, all the time so just put it on some shortcut again control r is very nice so isoparam and now so you just create an an extra edge kind of so you break down kind of the surface so just once in the middle and now select this piece this face in face mode and again isoparam command or control r in my example and we have to cut it again but we have to change the direction so just press tap so now it's the other way direction and again in the middle so make sure you snap in the middle and now we just have to do it for this face control r again press tap and snap here to the center and the same here select this face control r or isoparam press tap and snap it and now delete everything what we don't need and face mode again just select here one by one all of the faces that we don't need and shift x to delete the faces and somehow the curves shows here so just select the curves press h to hide them and now what we have we just have here our one quarter which we can now fill in with our surfaces so with our curved nice smooth surfaces and then we can just mirror that over so for that very simple just select because again we, we just want to kind of create some boundary in those free spaces with curves again we will build kind of the spline cage first what we did in the beginning and then we just fill in the surfaces it's always exactly the same techniques so create the line or shift a and just snap here from end to end right click create an, again a new line shift a snap again from here to here and because you see we have already here the edges are split already here where the fillet starts so we can perfectly create a new line and just exactly snap here to those points here and one more line here to the bottom so shift a perfect so now you see everything looks nice and cool but obviously we want to bring and to all of them a nice little curve so like rounding kind of so in edge mode select all of your curves here with shift click and now important command shift s it's called raise degree or you just subdivide kind of the curve so you just create one new point and just deselect them all and now let's first select those two in the middle so those two here and go to the top view and while those two points are selected press g the move command and now let's just bring them out a little bit again it's just yeah eyeballing here so i just make it nice uh, a nice curvature and so right click so both of them have this curvature let's select this point and go to the front view press g and also bring this so you see it here or maybe it's a little bit straight uh, no, i think it just looks nicer if we give it here a nice little curve and obviously you can take this curve mirror it over here but now i'm just example right click and i just select this make it manually bring this guy also with g a little bit outside right click perfect so now very important because this piece we will mirror over to the right side and the same then to the other side left side and we will create here a surface now we have to first extrude those curves to create the face because otherwise we will not have here g1 continuity again just a quick tutorial here if you wanted more in depth in my courses first link in the description i go in absolute mega detail so you will learn exactly what to do when and why but here again select the curve press e for extrude and extrude this a little bit e and extrude this a little bit 
And now super important, hide or delete those curves. So select those curves and delete them. Because now we just have here the black edge from the surface that we need. And let's just close that hole here at the bottom, select the curve, shift click, select the curve, L for loft. And it looks like it's connected, but it's not really connected technically. So press shift and shift. So you the loft is really connected to the boundary edges and press tap and tap. So it's just G0 because yeah, it's a just a hard sharp edge. Right click and again, just delete those curves here first and perfect. Now we can start to patch or XNERP that. So select the object mode first and let's select those three faces that are that should be connected but are not in the moment. So just press J. So right now you just have one sheet, so one object kind of. And now you can either X snap that, right? So like that, or you just go to press two edge mode and you just select with shift click all of those boundary edges. And again, <coughs> patch command, I have it on shift three. Voila, like that, but very important, G1. So you have continuity once you mirror that over. And that's why we've created those faces so we can select here G1 because otherwise it would be just G0. And at the bottom you can give here G2, right click, press three, face mode, shift click those two yeah, supporting faces, shift X. Now you can delete them. And now in object mode, select it. Alt X for the mirror command, just bring it to that side and again Alt X and bring it to the other side. And yeah, the proportions are obviously a little bit off here, but again, just do it then afterwards again and just spend a little bit more time with that. So like that. And if we join that everything and check it out, you see everything is super nice and connected. And obviously Alt X and let's go to the side view. So Alt X again for the mirrors side view, press F for freestyle and just somewhere here in the middle, just for the tutorial sake and just drag that out here on the left or on the right depends for you. Right click and join and you have this object and now you can also add some details. And again, if you like surface modeling, if you want to model uh, much more complex objects like helmets, power tools, motorcycles, cars, just check out first link in the description, my course page. I have a lot of amazing courses, step by step, your flows that you need to really master plasticity, 3D modeling. And I teach you also like how to use those techniques on your own for your own project. So I also teach you kind of how to think in plasticity terms so you can do your own stuff. So leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Bye.